when my first great grandchild was very young, I would tell her Bible stories before putting her to bed when we were together. And when we went on vacations and camping trips to the ocean and were in the tent, I would tell her about Jesus. Now, her favorite part of Jesus' life, very surprisingly, happened to be his last days on earth, and particularly the Last Supper. When we would tell the story of the Last Supper, we came to the part where Jesus said to his disciples, one of you will betray me. And she would make me count on her fingers, my fingers, her fingers. Is it I? Is it I? Is it I? Is it I? We had to make sure that all 12 disciples asked the question, is it I? It's a good question to ask. Too many times when something is negative, oh, is it him? Is it her? We point the finger that way instead of looking inside and ask that question, is it I? For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's no righteous, no, not one. We are all capable. Oh, yes, we are of denying. So therefore, we need to examine ourselves. We're all capable of betrayal. So we must ask the question. We are all capable of falling. So we must be on our guard. So today, in this short devotional, Consider that question. Is it I? And may the Lord search us. Lord, we don't want to betray you. We don't want to deny you. We don't want to forsake you. We want to be faithful even unto death. We want to be true disciples, true followers. So help us to pause and let you shine deep into our innermost being and reveal to us any areas in our lives that need you to cleanse, to heal, to forgive. In Jesus' name, amen.